PTA members of an elementary school in Madison City have been trying to raise money over the past year for more inclusive playground and better drainage after the rain. Parents say whenever it rains, the playground floods, making it unusual, unusable to their students. News 19's Yvette Sanchez spoke with the school officials and parents and joined us live in the studio now with more. Thanks, Greg. That's right. Chad Overcast shot this drone video right here behind me so you could see why playing on the playground of Mill Creek Elementary can be difficult after a day of heavy rain. He tells me that the flooding of the playground has been an ongoing issue at the school, so the PTA decided to take actions into their own hands. A dry playground is just relatively low on the priority list in terms of what do you need to keep the school's doors open? Chad Overcast, a parent at Mill Creek Elementary, says he hasn't heard of anyone from the school addressing the issue specifically, but they are aware. So the superintendent knows, the school board knows, um, everybody knows about the issues, but uh, I think the PTA decided that the quickest route to getting something actually done about it was to have a fundraiser and just do it themselves. According to the Mill Creek Mavericks PTA Facebook page, this is the group's biggest project and they plan to use the money that's being raised to update the drainage system and add inclusive play equipment. After a Board of Education meeting in early November, the district committed to a two to three year plan that would upgrade and fix the Mill Creek playground along with others in the district. We have a couple of schools that have some drainage issues like Mill Creek has. So we have enlisted our architect uh, to look at all six of our elementary schools. Madison City School Superintendent Ed Nichols says the architect will assess the playgrounds and then sketch up a design upgrade. Once that is done, the school system will update the different playgrounds over the next several years. The PTA has raised over $40,000 for the repairs and Nichols says that can be used for other items on the playground. And then about every 10 years, that, that, that flooring that gets put down, that turfing, has to be replaced. So we would work with our playgrounds to start establishing um, kind of an account that when those 10 years run out, they've got money set aside uh, to, to, up, to put that back down against. Nichols adds that they're doing the bulk of the renovations from the district level and then helping the elementary school move forward from then on.